what's up guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome make sure you hit that follow button if you've already been rocking with your girl on her healing journey or just in general you already know when you're rocking with your girl we keep it nothing but real so i've been getting a lot of questions about my overall health and you know just me changing my diet what made me change my diet etc etc so i'm like you know what get a little cute and make a little video for your people so that's what i've decided to do because you know sometimes typing is just not the same as you getting a message if somebody is verbally speaking so we're gonna jump right into it i like to get straight to the put the joint so yeah, 2019, your girl started feeling sick, out the blue, like couldn't breathe properly, something is wrong, I didn't know what was really wrong with me, so I go to the doctors, they tell me it's X, Y, and Z, I didn't really get into full death, I was like, you know, all the diagnosis that I had, and etc. so they were like, um, you have asthma, so I'm like, all right, your girl can handle that. Like, all right, I got asthma. But I still was like, dang, I get asthma at this grown age. So now we fast forward, it's 2020. And I'm like, why none of these inhalers working if I got asthma? Like, what's going on? Like, so I continue to, you know, take my asthma, come go back to the doctors. They give me another inhaler. So this one has a steroid in it. So I'm like, all right, maybe this will work. I guess they're the doctors, right? So they're supposed to be right. So yeah, so your girl was taking an inhaler. That inhaler didn't work. So when I went back to the doctor, they gave me another inhaler. So at this point, I feel like you're playing in my face. Because now I'm three inhalers in. Like, how much inhaling can I do <laughs> for this to work? So that inhaler didn't work either. So they gave your girl a fourth inhaler. At this point, I'm done with them in the inhalers. Because I... I how much inhaling okay so now it's 2020 and then it's like months going by months going by you know your girl is outside i'm young i'm partying i'm drinking i'm smoking i'm living the life that i thought was the life at the time so you know i'm i'm lit like yeah your girl was lit your girl was outside so at that point i'm getting worse now I'm noticing like when I'm smoking, I'm throwing up. Like, cause I'm choking so bad. And I'm like, oh, this is my asthma acting up. Your girl don't know nothing about asthma. I ain't know how to inhale, exhale, nothing. To I thought I was doing something wrong with the pumps. That's probably why it wasn't working. But your girl started throwing up like white foam. So I'm like, what's this? Like, I ain't never seen that before. What this, this asthma? So I'm still confused. Cause I'm going by what the doctor told me. They told me that I have asthma. So I'm like, all right, I got asthma. So now a whole year go by. And I'm like, yo, this is not asthma. Like this cannot be, this is why I say it's very important to advocate for yourself. Cause I'm like, this, this cannot be asthma. Like it can't be. So I go to a different doctor. They ran tests, ran tests, did other things. Had me doing breathing tests, doing this, X, Y, and Z. They hit your girl with this illness, this illness, this illness, this illness, this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your girl thought she had asthma. So you telling me this ain't only asthma? This is all this other stuff? Like, hold on, now y'all got me confused. Like, I was okay with accepting that I had asthma. I was like, right, I got asthma. I got a little breathing. I got to take a little pump. But now you telling me I got to take pills? I, your girl, ain't never been on pills before. So I'm like, wait, hold up. Pause. Pump your brakes. It's a lot right now. Mind you, I'm young. So I'm like, hey, huh? I got what? And they done hit me with a booklet of like eight different, probably more. I believe it was more than eight. Don't quote me. It was definitely a little over eight. Illnesses. So I'm like, this is a joke. Like, this got to be a dream. But you know, I ain't sweat it because I believe in the higher ups. Like, 
um and i just always since i was younger always trust god like through anything and everything that i go through so i'm just like huh i never opened the booklet that they gave me i went home and i put it under the sink under my cabinet and i left it there and i'm like i'm about to look at this because just because you told me I have something don't mean I have to claim it it's how I felt that's the energy that I just was you know giving myself so I don't got to think about it I didn't want to start going on Google googling this stuff because that'll drive you crazy Google will have you thinking that you got like two days to live and I ain't give her have time for that when the doctors already have put a time limit on me living and nobody can't do that but God so at the end of the day I ignore all of that as much as I can you know so okay 2021 I'm realizing like I'm just not getting better like something going on I remember I was making baked chicken um I had made baked chicken smothered over some white rice and that was my last time eating it on um, meat when I woke up the next morning I just looked at my boyfriend I was like I'm not eating meat no more I'm not eating nothing no more I didn't eat I took meat on my own diet dairy starch and sugar so I was like I'm not eating that no more like I was doing my research. I did a lot of research. I was researching, like, you know, Dr. Seppi. Um, I was researching, you know, different type of people and seeing, like, what could you do when you have illnesses and, and et cetera. So what made me change my diet? I had a health scare. And I went on a hump. Like, I'm going to heal. Like, there's no way I'm going out like this. So then I did my research. I was looking up everything. And then um, I ordered some books. Um, on how to heal yourself and from there it was a um i went on an all um fruit and vegetable diet for months i was on an oxygen machine i got myself off so i did a gallon of water every single day i did fruits i did vegetables every single day for months and i mean months i would sit at my table and cry i would break stuff I'm telling you, I was going through the motions, but I wanted to get off of the machine. I never been on oxygen machine before. I didn't like walking around with this on my face and I didn't like, you know, how it made me feel or just the anxiety of if I take it off of my sleep or it just was too much going on. I kept being in and out of the hospital. I was going to the ER at least twice a week. Like it was getting crazy. I was getting more sick and more sick and more sick. So I was like, let me see if this really worked. Because I know your diet plays a lot in, in your health. But I didn't know that a real diet change will really change your life. Because, I mean, it will change your life. So, I changed my diet. I haven't had meat since 2021. So, I know you're sitting here wondering, like, if you change your diet and you went on a health diet and you did X, Y, and Z, why are you back on oxygen? We're going to get into that a little later. Okay? Y'all nosy, just like me. Y'all want to know everything okay all right so but i feel y'all though some stuff gotta make sense so anyways 2021 stop eating meat i had my last meal and that was baked chicken over my rice after that i woke up I, I stopped cold turkey and i have never been back on meat since it's 2023 and that was um december 2021 so i'm almost two years in shout out to your girl i never looked back so, um, like I was saying, your diet plays a huge role in your health. When I stopped eating meat and I stopped doing all that stuff, I got off of the oxygen machine. My doctors couldn't even believe it. Most people that are on oxygen are on oxygen for years. I got off in months. Um, I went hard. Like, I didn't have no errors. And I drunk herbs twice a day. I did research on herbs. I started getting into these teas um and i just drunk herbs in the morning i would wake up and then at night i would drink them twice a day every day i didn't miss a day and just eat my fruits eat my vegetables i would use three seasonings onion powder sea salt pepper that's it nothing else like it was hard when i say hard that was one of the most difficult times of my life and it was a challenge because i love wings your girl like the average person I know yeah, I love wings. I love wings too. I love steak and I love me a seafood boil. And not to mention, a lot of people might not know, but your girl's favorite food is really ramen noodles. I really love noodles. I've always did. It's 
one of my go-tos. I love it. I can eat noodles like three times a day. Packs. I love noodles. So, um, and I was a big wing eater. I would eat wings probably four times out of a week. Like, if not more. I love wings with some blue cheese or flats. Yeah. See, before my mouth used to water now, I'm like, ew, you eat wings? <laughs> I don't judge people though. Um, so yeah, I had a health scare, changed my diet, and I changed my life. Literally. I was so, my skin was so clear. I would wake up and I would be so happy. And I used to say to my boyfriend, like, yo, I feel weird. And he'll be like, what you mean, like, weird? I'm like, like, I feel happy. Like, but I don't know why. Like, it was a different kind of happy. It was like a happy that I've never felt in my whole life. I had so much energy. I would wake up like 7 o'clock in the morning. And I was a person that used to sleep past 12 o'clock. Like, I would always feel drained. I would always feel sluggish. I would always be tired. Like, I would always have an attitude. And I used to be like, I have anxiety. You know, that's what they say when you're like that. Oh, you have anxiety. I used to always worry about everything. I used to be like panicking or, you know, under a lot of stress quick. And I'll be pacing on the house. I used to be overthinking. Then when I changed my diet, it felt like I didn't care about nothing. It felt like I was falling on top of the world. The anxiety went away. I no longer had anxiety. And I wasn't even um, changing my diet for anxiety. I just thought that was something that come with you in your life. So when I changed my diet and I noticed that the anxiety went away and now I'm just happy. I'm happier in my relationship and my boyfriend expressed to me that he's never seen this side of me before. Like he never seen this me being happy. And I was with him for over six years. And he was just expressing to me that he never saw me in this type of light, this type of happiness. I would wake up, come on, babe, let's go get our feet up. Let's do this, let's do that. Oh, you know, I just was happier. My son noticed he had a happier mom. That's when I'm like, wow. Because could you imagine eating an animal, dead flesh? How could you be really happy in life? You're eating dead animals. Imagine what those animals go through as they're getting killed. They're running for their life. Then, you know, they're scared. They're, that's why you have anxiety. Because of the foods that you're consuming, the foods that you're putting into your body. Imagine the, the stages that they're in before they get killed. And then you cook them and you wonder why that energy transfers onto you. You wonder why that energy is inside of your body. You are what you eat. So this is the happiest I've ever been in my life. And this is no exaggeration. I don't miss me. I will never go back to me. Cause I know the difference in not having me into your diet. I was in a wheelchair. Um, I had I couldn't breathe. I was on 30 liters of oxygen in the ICU. When I got home, I was on 10 liters of oxygen. They had to give me a special tank for 10 liters. And then I went to no oxygen. So if it's not the food and it's not the diet, why when I change my diet, I got off of the oxygen. And then I no longer had those problems. I no longer had anxiety. I no longer suffer from depression. I no longer suffer from um, PTSD, the stuff they say, post-traumatic stress. I no longer had those things that the doctors diagnosed me with. And that's not the illnesses part. I'm saying in general. All of those things went away. So it is the diet. It is the food. It is the stuff we were putting into our bodies. So once I noticed that and I noticed my energy and just how overall happy I was, things couldn't bother me no more that used to be able to bother me. Like if somebody says something to me, I'll be quick to argue. Like these days, I don't look at stuff and I don't be ready to argue no more because I look like, oh, wow, they need healing. When you really heal, when you really go on that healing journey, you look at life differently. Um, you look at things differently, people differently. Everything around me has to make sense. And I just feel like eating processed food, we put all this stuff into our bodies and we wonder why we stay sick. And you, you go off of what your doctor said. They tell you that you need meat because you need protein which is false. Beans have protein. There's other ways to get protein. You can eat CMOS. 
there's other ways to consume pro the protein that you think you need and the body doesn't need that much protein as we think but this is what we're tricked on this is what they tell us and we believe it as people because they're doctors but they're humans just like us they just went to school and they're school of medicine because if your doctor was to tell you hey go on a plant-based diet change the way that you're eating so you can get off these medications and so you can heal that's messing up your business that's like a drug dealer telling a crackhead hey bro get off these drugs man but that's your number one customer would you tell them to get off of drugs no you wouldn't tell them that because why it's going to mess up your money so why would the doctors tell you to change your diet why would they give you advice on the good food to eat instead they'll tell you that you do baked chicken chicken is the worst meat you could consume into your body it causes the most mucus the most inflammation they're not going to tell you that because it's going to mess up their money they need to keep you sick they need to keep you needing them the medication pharmaceutical so they're going to say and do everything in their power it's not normal to me to be on meds for 5, 10, 15 years. That's not normal. And the meds are just getting you by. Just maybe getting you another day here on earth. And then the meds uh, create another problem. That's going to create another problem. And it's going to need you. It's going to have you need another medication. And then another medication. And you're just going to always need the doctor. See me. I realized I needed God. I, di I didn't need a doctor. We lean on men too much to dictate our lives instead of taking matters into our own hands. I chose to take matters into my own hands because yes, I trust God. Yes, I have faith in God. Yes, I know God is going to heal me, but you have to help God. You have to go 50-50 with him. It's not just I have faith. I'm going to sit back and take 20 pills, eat steak all day, eat boiling seafood and drink liquor and smoke weed and then I'm going to think I'm going to be healed no you have to do your part too like right now I'm on day 13 and I've been eating nothing but fruit because fruit heals you faster than vegetables so if you want to heal you got to eat and drink fruits which juicing I've been juicing watermelon coconut water cucumber water Stuff like that is going to heal you. It's going to help you breathe. It's going to help your oxygen. Going on walks. Stuff like that. You have to do stuff that's going to help you. And God is going to do the rest. You can't just sit back and lean back and take 30 pills a day. I was on over 20 medications. I'm on day 10 of no medications. I took matters into my own hands. And people say, hey, did you ask your doctor? No, I confirm everything with God. He is the healer. He is the only doctor I need confirmation from. God is the only one that has a say so in when you're going to die. A doctor can't say you have six months to live. The only reason why people end up dying is because they killed themselves. It's because what you believe and what you put into your head. Once you change the way you think, you change the way you eat, you will change the way you live. I know from experience. So this is what I'm saying to you. Change the way you think. Stop telling yourself, I can't do this. Eating healthy is too expensive. So is being sick. If you could go spend $100 on meat, you could go spend $100 on some watermelon, on some fruit, on some things that's going to bring you energy. Things that's going to give your body electrolytes. Things that's going to feed your body healthiness. That's what you want to feel, healthy. You want to feel lighter. I was way bigger. I was 185 pounds. And I find changing my diet was the best thing that ever happened to me. And the reason, the reason why I know it's the food is because when I got pregnant, I started craving. I never went back to meat, but I went back to dairy. And dairy is actually worse than meat. So I went back to dairy. I couldn't fight the cravings. And I got back on the oxygen machine. I was the only machine at my gender reveal. Shortly after, I started craving noodles. 
I started craving seafood boils and that stuff I couldn't ignore. I was like, I'm not going back to meat, but I could do a seafood boil. It's not going to hurt me. And it, it did hurt me. I got back sick, got back on the oxygen machine, and here we are. So if you're wondering why am I back on the oxygen machine, I got sick again from eating seafood. I try to be a pescatarian because I miss the food. Yeah, everything's an addiction. Everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Just like crackheads, they relapse numerous of times. It's the same thing with food, sugar, everything. It's like a drug. I missed eating the seafood. You know, we have those cravings and sometimes we can't fight them off and especially being pregnant. I ignored, you know, the meat, but I had some seafood and I ate oodles and noodles every single day because it was easier. My boyfriend didn't know how to cook plant-based or vegan or anything like that. He didn't know how to cook like that. So it would be easier for me to just say, give me some noodles. My feet started getting swollen. I could barely walk again. Um, I had a lot of mucus built up. I couldn't drink my herbs because I was pregnant. The herbs would harm the baby. So I ended up back on the oxygen machine. I was getting sick and more sick and more sick. I ended up having my daughter when I was seven months. She didn't go full term. I was supposed to be due in April. I had my daughter in February. So right then and there, I knew it was a food. So I went, was not sick. Got back sick when I started eating the food again. So if it's not the food, why when I don't eat the food, I'm healthy. Like, look at me now. I had a baby in February. I was 185. I feel better. My skin is clear again. And, you know, I relapsed to dairy quite a few times. Um, I would not sit here and ever lie to you guys. So I want you guys to know this. I went back to dairy. Dairy was like really hard for me because a lot of things have dairy. It's not just about cheese. I went back to oodles and noodles. I love noodles. That's really like my childhood food. I really love noodles. I've always had noodles, wanted noodles. Like right now, I still have cravings for oodles and noodles. And you would think like, wow, that's weird. You don't even crave meat. No, I really love oodles and noodles. I've always did. So right now, even some I had fight off the cravings. And then I found vegetarian noodles. And I was like, your girl got some vegetarian noodles with no animal products in a fire. Okay. And they still a reasonable price. So yeah. It's stuff like that. Is where I was like, damn, mine's really the food. Every time I eat the food, I would just cry because it was like, you know, it's what you're used to. You're used to eating fried chicken, pork chops, baked macaroni and cheese collard greens so a lot of us can't get better because we want that craving we want that taste we want to taste that food that them seasonings so i said you know what because the thing is a lot of us eat healthy it's just what you do to the food like collard greens don't need neck bones you still can make good vegan mac and cheese and i don't identify as nothing i'm just a healthy eater your girl is her i do me and i always tell people do what's best for you do what helps you at the end of the day. Like, I don't judge people that eat meat because I ate meat before. I'm not judgmental. I'm not here to judge. I'm here to educate you. I'm here to inform you. I'm here to tell you. And the best teacher is ones who had experience. I had health scares. I've been hooked up to different IVs and I still have marks from needles. I've been in and out of the ER. I've been on 20 different medications. I had anxiety, I had depression. You know what I'm saying? I've been on oxygen machine like right now. I'm able to take this oxygen machine off, right? While I'm sitting. I'm able to take the oxygen machine off. I'm able to talk to you guys. Before, I was not able to take my oxygen. Now I can do it for a little while. So don't, don't think you grew, okay? But right now, like, <laughs> see? I'm on one liter. I went from 10 liters. I'm on one. It's 100% the food. I'm telling y'all, I went back to dairy numerous of times. A lot of stuff that we don't think have dairy in it, it's stuff that I've learned as I changed my diet. Um, oodles and noodles have dairy. It's made of animal products. Most of the elbow noodles that we eat made of animal products. The butter, animal products. It's stuff like that that I still was using and I was still eating and I learned that like oh wow this come from an animal and it really harms you it really causes inflammation in your body that's why you can't walk 
that's why you have a pain that's why you have arthritis because you got mucus probably in your knees mucus in your legs so they're saying oh you have arthritis and so where I learned from Dr. Sebi is only one disease and it's mucus and to me it's true because when I stopped eating the food and I started eating healthy only thing that was coming up out of my body I mean it was coming up everywhere even out of my you know when I would use the bathroom and have a bowel movement I seen mucus when I wiped it I was like yo what the hell I didn't even know mucus could come out that way I would spit up mucus constantly when I would drink my healing tea mucus would just come up come up so I believe that when you kill the mucus you kill the disease so that's always what I followed every time you're sick what do you do you call what do you call up mucus so once I learned that I'm like it's definitely mucus and that's why they start diagnosing you they go off of what you say you tell the doctors you can't sleep at night now they say you have insomnia you tell the doctors oh I panic or I can't drive or I'm always worried about something now they diagnose you and say that you have anxiety Okay, you get you 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 follow me. I just want y'all to understand. They're in a business of business. You have to always trust God, lean on God, and trust yourself. Take matters into your own hands. You got to do what's best for you. Yeah, it may be hard to cut off them collard greens with the neck bones, but do you really? Could you ask yourself, is this worth me getting buried? That's what keep me going. Ain't no liquor. I'm young. I'm 29 years old. The average person couldn't do what I'm doing. Because they're young still. They want to party. They want to smoke. And they still have illnesses. It's people that I watch every day that have illnesses, severe illnesses. And they party. They drink. They smoke. They're out in the clubs. I would not risk my life for a moment. Then later on, they're going home, they're cramped up, they're in pain, they're wondering why, because of what you're doing. You don't have to wonder why. You don't got to question God, ask God why. You ask yourself, why am I doing this to myself? Because you have control over you. You don't got to listen to them doctors. Everything is a choice. Just like you choose to eat unhealthy, just like you choose to stay with your man that you know you should have been like 10 years ago, just like you choose to, you know, do certain things in your life. It's Everything's a choice. We all have choices in life. And every day I choose me. I don't care if I gotta eat 40 watermelons with tears in my eyes. Cause it's times that I've done it. I've been cutting up watermelon and I got tears in my eyes cause I'm hungry, cause I want food or it's people around me that's eating food in the beginning. I used to feel bad and I feel bad for them. Cause what you're doing to your body, especially if you have illnesses, if you have diseases, I'm here to tell you the best way to heal is a changed diet and i would say go on a fruit diet go on a fruit fast for three days start yourself off the body needs 72 hours to reset go on a fruit fast for three days see what it does for you slowly eliminate things out your diet you don't have to go cold turkey like me i just woke up and i just stopped eating and i never ate the meat again just slowly cut things out of your diet Another thing I had a hard time with was starch. I love pasta. So even though some things could be considered vegan, it can still be considered unhealthy because it's so processed. You get what I'm saying? So even eating things like that, I learned to where it doesn't do too good for my body either. So I learned a lot along the way. And just what's best for me is when I go on a fruit fast. I love the way I feel when I'm eating all fruits. And one day I'm hoping I can, you know, just probably be a fruitarian. Have a beautiful garden. And that's the things that I want to do. So at the end of the day, you have to choose you. You have to do what's best for you. Do what works for you. And like I told you, it starts with your mind. If you tell yourself you can't, then you won't. If you tell yourself you, that you can, then you will. You have to always remember that. You are what you eat. If them animals was angry, you wouldn't be angry. If them animals had anxiety, depression, they were stressed, how could you really think you can live a happy life eating dead flesh? They're dead animals. We were meant to eat stuff that bring nutritional value to our bodies. Vegetables, fresh coconut water, 
fresh watermelon juice. Stuff like that, natural sugars. Stuff that's not gonna harm us, causes inflammation, it takes it away. Soon as I start back eating all that other mess, I get bloated again. My face get puffed up. I get all this inflammation, I get all this built up stress and now I'm back, oh I got anxiety because you're telling yourself you have anxiety. It's what you tell yourself too, you gotta remember. What you feed your mind matters and what you feed your body matters. Stop claiming anything that these doctors say. I thought for years, oh I have anxiety. Right now I don't worry, I don't stress, I leave everything to God. I am at peace. And people look like, oh you don't eat meat. Oh, um, girl I feel bad for you. No, I feel bad for you. Because people don't even understand how much it changes your life. How much energy you have. Anybody that went on a fruit fast or vegetables or went plant-based could never say, oh, I feel worse. You're going to end up taking yourself with medications. The diseases are going to disappear. Like, look at me. I wasn't able to talk to you guys for a full, it's been 30 minutes now, without coughing, choking. I would cough throughout my videos. And I wouldn't be able to make a video or I'm, I'm not even posting it. Especially, your girl is not even talking with oxygen. Won't God do it? God is good. God is amazing, okay? So, you change your diet, you'll change your life. So, like I said, it all starts with you. Stop thinking, oh, if I eat healthy, it's expensive. So is being sick. So is taking meds. All of that stuff is expensive. Your life is valuable. You have to think about that. The same way you will go get a luxury car, think about your body as luxury. You want the best. Like if you have a Mercedes Benz, you have to use the best gas. You have to use 93 in order for the car to run properly. It's the same for you. You have to eat properly for your body to run properly. It's not normal for you to not be able to walk, not be able to talk, not be able to get out of bed be in pain that's not normal a lot of stuff that we thought is normal it's not and when i changed my diet i changed a lot of things like they were telling me i wasn't able to have a kid i have a new baby she's six months you know it's stuff like that when i changed my diet i got pregnant very fast i didn't have those issues they were saying that i had i was able to have a baby and it happened quick you know so it's stuff like that you just have to take matters into your own hands when you change your diet you'll change your life you'll get healthier you'll you'll feel better i have more energy and then one thing my period went away i'm like wait huh i thought something was wrong like it was the medication I stopped getting a period. Then I did research on it and they said we're not supposed to get periods and if we are getting a period, it should be very light and last maybe a day. So I stopped bleeding. I'm like, wait, this is weird. Why am I not bleeding? So I'm saying this to my boyfriend. Like I gotta call my doctor. I think one of my medications stopped my period. This is before I had my daughter. I'm like, I think one of my meds stopped my period. Little do I know, and it's something I just found out. Like you're not supposed to get a period. Like cramping is not normal. Being in pain during your cycle, all of that stuff is not normal. Pain shouldn't come with you. Do they say, oh, it's cleaning you out? No. This is all false. Like you have to remember, them doctors are in the world to get money. They're never going to do or tell you anything that's going to get you better. That's going to stop their paycheck. They're never going to have a goal for you to get off the oxygen machine. They didn't have a plan for me. They was asking me, what did I do? What did you do? And they, they're not going to believe in holistic or, oh, if you change your diet, my doctor told me I could eat whatever. Sorry, guys. My phone ended up dying. But anyways, change the way you think. You'll change the way you eat. You'll change the way you live. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. I pray and hope that this video changes the way you think, change the way you feel about yourself, because you matter, put you first. Um, take matters into your own hands if you have to. Stop leaning on man, leaning on God. He is the one that has the last say. Don't let these doctors feed you anything. 
can you do all this medicine? Think you have to be on something for 10 plus years, five plus years, one plus year, when it all starts with a diet change. Change your diet, start off slowly, do what you have to do for you, do what works for you, and you'll live better. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you have any other videos you guys would like me to chime in on, let me know. You already know when you're rocking with your girl, we keep it nothing but real. Stay healthy, stay blessed, stay prayed up, and most importantly, stay focused. Thank you. Mwah.